Hello everybody, I'm Spark249, welcome to episode 9 of Let's Play South Park The Stick of Truth. And we're going to start this episode off by finally actually using some of the weapon strap-ons we picked up. So this one would be nice to use, we can't use it for another two levels, it seems to be the most powerful on my own after having a look through them. Uh, they do quite varied things, this one lets me block more damage, this one lets me add shock damage. But I think what I'm actually going to go with is I'm going to put the fire damage one on. There we are. So that will add 25 damage on a perfect attack. And we can actually put two on the longbow. So I think I'm going to put on the shock damage and hmm, the 15% perfect attack damage. And you can take these back off, so. And we've got to spot some equipment patches. So on our alien helmets. Huh. It's quite a varied amount here. I think that one just won it for me though. A bit of extra money never went to miss. What else have we got here? Healing. Gaining PP if I deal fire damage, that might be nice. Gross damage, frost damage. Ranged attack. Yeah, I'm using that one. I deal enough ranged attacks, so it'll be very useful. And which last one should we do? I think I'll take the armor one. Alien defensive matrix. Anyway, that's enough uh, setting up. Let's start running. Oh, that is, that is awesome. Have a look at my wooden sword. Now it's on fire. That doesn't have an electrical effect though, that's uh... That's fine though. So we're finally going to enter the Taco Bell. And this is, uh, this area will actually have five missable things. Folks, there's nothing to be concerned with here. Absolutely nothing out of the ordinary is going on. Of course. Simply getting ready for the grand opening of a new Taco Bell. New Taco Bell opening soon. Very big Taco Bell. It's going to open in a few weeks. Thank you. Okay. That all makes sense. Let's just uh, uh, disperse. Will this Taco Bell be serving in Chiritos? What? <laughs> well, is it going to be a full menu Taco Bell, or is this going to be one of those Taco Bell KFC combos? We got a guy out here asking a lot of questions. Completely irrelevant questions, just stick I might to the add. The script is laid out in the protocol, but he wants to know if the Taco Bell will have in Chiritos or not, sir. Damn it, we don't have a contingency for that. Michaels, isolate and neutralize the threat. This is a bit yes, harsh. Sir. Look, it's a simple question. The guy's just curious. It's a huge Taco Bell. Will it serve in Chiritos? I think we have a right to know. Problem solved. Folks, we know you're well, all very no one seems that for your safety, we ask you stay clear of the construction site. Mark? You don't seem overly bothered, to be fair. Can I loot his corpse? I actually can. Wow, I was being sarcastic. Okay, so it's telling me here we're going to need to use the new uh, magic we found. Let's be looking back and forth. As I said, there's five missables in this part. So, let's switch to the sneaky squeaker. And we're going to put it over hey, there. What was that? Sorry, absolutely nobody allowed past. I got Check rid of you. In a few weeks, thank you. I got rid of you! <laughs> what was that? Is somebody here? I'll find you! No you won't! And we're in. Okay, so I need to sneak this guy. Oh, I can do this. In case you couldn't guess. Right, I was going to need to wait for him to come a little bit closer. Or maybe not. Stand there. Testing Tupperware. Come on. <laughs> there we are. Problem solved. Ow, 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 ow. Much electricity. Much electricity. Very pain. Um, just a bunch of junk, really. I do, however, see up there. Um, how do I do this again? Forget, beginning to forget the controls. So there we are. 
Here's one of the unique items, the Stone Hammer, which is weaker than my weapon but can reduce shields and is good against armor. And hits twice, so it's even better against shields. So that's one of the five missable items. I see that. But so far we've been unable to stop the UFO from leaking the toxic waste. We've contained all we can, but there are no guarantees an outbreak will not occur. And does the alien liquid appear to have the same effect as last time? I'm afraid so. When the alien waste reacts with organic material on Earth, it turns things into... Nazi zombies. I would love to see the science behind this. Here we go again. This is a common occurrence. I'm so tired of Nazi zombies. It's so overused. If the wrong person gets their hands on that green toxin, it could totally spread it. We have a big problem. All right, we're going to have to completely obliterate everything in a three-block radius. Hey, my house is Find in that three blocks. Find locations for the bombs and bury it all. Then make up a fake story about an earthquake. We can contain the outbreak this time if we act quickly enough. Let's move. Everything we've just talked about has been recorded onto this tape. I'm going to leave it alone here for a few minutes, then come back later and have it encrypted and locked away so nobody ever hears what was said in this meeting. Yes, good idea. Oh, okay. Here I am. What the fuck? It's broken free! He needs to have your roof it on! Ah! Oh dear. Do I need to deal with him? I do need to deal with him! Introducing the first Nazi zombie. Let's see, what can I do to you? Oh, you have a lot of health. Let's just use this. That sorted you out. <laughs> One damage. This isn't good. Level 9. Pentagram patch. Okay. Here's one of the missable items. The SWAT vest. Here's the other... Here's another two. The SWAT tactical gloves. And the SWAT armoured headgear. That does what, sorry? If I kill something, I get a follow-up attack? I think I'm using that. Okay, so... Modify... Unequip. Right, I just have to remember how to do this. Switch to the SWAT armored headgear. Nope. Equip. Mod. Oh. See, this one doesn't have a little um, pentagram. Uh, no, not pentagram. What am I talking about? I've forgotten my shapes. Five-sided shape next to it. Um, it ha it can't actually be enhanced, which is a shame. I just kindly. So let's go in here. Tesla coil has 50 shock damage on a perfect attack. Up there, that's the fifth and final missable in this section. A chin Pokemon. Gunrilla. Can I break all this stuff? Oh. Why is none of this breakable? I'm just taking this. The recording device. Return to the PTA. Okay. You know, just destroying everything as I go. Oh, oh. Oh, dearie me. That was a zombie. Oh, I think they got a free attack on me. I couldn't react in time. He's ripper sting. Has a gun. This is gonna end up badly. Whoa! This isn't gonna end well. What can I do? Oh, they're all weak to this. Right, I don't know, actually know what your ability does. Let's have a look, see. What does that do? What? That's not good. That's very not good. Um, Kenny, we might have to kill you right now. 
<laughs> right, I don't want these guys all to die at once. How do I do this? I'm just going to try and deal a decent amount of damage. I, d I want Kenny to die here. So, impaled! And good, the damage wasn't enough to kill them all. Oops. Oh, that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. I'm gonna die. Oh, this is an awful decision. I'm going to try Whirling Doom again and hope it doesn't kill them all. Oh, it didn't do any damage that time. Wow, I'm dead. I'm actually flat out dead. Well, it seemed to reload from just before that fight. Now, I don't know if that counted as me having lost the battle, uh, as me having lost the battle with Kenny dead, but I'm just going to hope it didn't. So, think. Quiet, Kenny. That seems to work well enough. <laughs> and... Bye, Kenny. Right, now I have to defend against these attacks. He's riposting. As my shield's gone. Whoa! Well, I'm not grossed out, but I am going to die. Unless I can kill one of them. One hit point. What? No, it counted. Attack again. Oh, I guess me killing the other guy counted. So that means if I attack this guy, I'll get another attack. Yes! But now I must... I have to be weak enough not to kill him. So, regular normal attacks. Nasty zombie bite I'm not worried about. Maybe I should be. Wow, these zombies, um, a smart person would probably switch their setup or use a summon, but nah, what the, uh, we appear to be suffering from some texture bugs, oh dear, right, I'm gonna get rid of you. Oh, there we go. That's charm. The heck is going on here? All the textures have vanished. <laughs> now they're back. Something odd is going on here. Right, unicorn's down. Oh! Can he please have a head? Good. Oh! Is this the game punishing me for dying so much? Reposting. Good. I don't want to deal with headshot again. Okay, now what? Oh, he's Rufus! Dang it! Well, that's me being stupid. And now I'm gonna die.
Be quiet! Getting sick of the gratuitous German here. Okay, yet another attempt. I'm going to keep doing this, I'm not changing my st my layout. What the heck, that guy's moved. That guy's changed position. Right. This guy's the more important guy to get rid of. So by getting rid of his armor and... Let's charm this guy. I'm glad all the textures are back because that was creepy as anything. The attack down on him will stop him from killing me. And now let's Unicorn Stampede these two for what feels like the umpteenth time. Right, River Singh, so don't punch or don't hit that guy. Hopefully bleeding will deal with you. I could have locked everything. Bleeding ought to finish you off, so will burning. There we go. Right here, I'm actually going to waste my attack. And just for safety's sake, I'm eating. Basically, I'm going to knock this guy out of combat so that one, he can't come back, and two, Kenny has another turn to come back. That's quite important. Because just in case all those deaths didn't count, uh, in case it needs me to actually win battles without leaving someone dead. Can I gross out a zombie? Not even going to try. Right, now let's get rid of him. Dealt with, finally! How many t attempts was that? Four or five? Oh dear, the woman appears to have been eaten. A lot of junk. Could have sworn I'd already robbed you, but there we go. So let's escape. So we didn't miss anything, that's good. Um... Where am I going to go? Alright, now, I believe there is one thing which we must not miss. So I'm going to see if it's active yet. It's basically got a rather small time window between the zombies being released and attacking... Oh dear. Did the cat just do that? Um. Yeah, between the zombies being released and the next part of the main quest. So, where is you I want to talk to? Look, I got Nazi zombies to deal with. Most of my men are dead and the mayor's breathing down my neck. Whatever you want, it'll have to wait. Hey, wait, you look pretty tough. How would you like to see what it's like to be a real police officer, huh? Kill some bad guys? Okay, yeah, sure. Kid. All you got to do is kill a bunch of Nazi zombies and bring me the rings off their fat German sausage fingers. You get enough rings, I'll see about getting you an honorary job on the force. Okay, so Nazi zombie bounty. How many of these things are we expected to kill? Quest, please. Quest. Five Nazi rings. There were zombies here a minute ago. Don't even pretend there weren't. We should hang out. Okay, so the cats count as actual enemies. Oh, dearie me. The cat is apparently weak to this. Nazi zombie kitty. Alright, let's just use furry friends. I'm actually going to succeed at it though. Hopefully. Oh, 
Yay. And there we go. Nice zombie bite, easy enough to block. Let's kill the cat. And then my headgear will let me get another attack. So he's nearly dead, and... I'm not going to pretend that Kenny can kill him with this regular attack, but might as well try. There we are. So you get off your one attack, which is curb stomp, which is why I didn't want. One Nazi ring? Wait, the cat had the Nazi ring. I only presume you're joking. Nope, nope. The cat had the ring. Right, there's zombies here. No? Zombies! Here, yeah, zombie, zombie, zombie! You kids seem awfully calm. Oh, here's some. Here are some. If you're ever traveling, Photo Dojo has a great deal on You seem awfully. <laughs> Not worried about all the zombies behind you, ma'am. Um, right, let's use Circumscythe. It does a good job of getting rid of all their shields and armor. And that's just two furry friends. And there we are. And that oh that did kill you. That was lucky. Now hopefully one of you had a ring, at least. One You did not have one. If you're ever traveling, Photo Dojo has a great deal of Quiet. You're just out of range. So, off to find more zombies. Maybe there'll be some down here. I'm not holding my breath, though. Feels like I'm wandering around looking for the homeless people all over again. Come on. Just a lot of running. Ah, there might be some around here. Please tell me there are. Why is my run? There we are. Nope. Come on, Kenny. Let's go find us some dead people to make deader. You'd have thought rampaging zombies would be easier to find. Come on. It's gotta be somewhere around here somewhere. Kenny's house. Gotta be something in Kenny's house. Yes! Success! Zombie! Shoot. No, wrong thing. Okay, let's kill the Nazi zombie. Where'd the cat come from? Nobody agreed to the cat. Alright, Kenny, luckily these two happen to be both in a line, so let's use Unicorn Stampede. Hey. 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 Success! And that guy's stunned. That was easy. I'm getting the hang of fighting the zombies. A ring! That's three rings now, two to go. And of course there aren't any over here. So back to hunting for more undead. Let's try heading up here. Check in the park. 
There's probably zombies in a park, right? So zombies like to hang out. Can you keep a secret? Neither can I. Yeah, zombie, zombie, zombie. Do you count? May I kill you? No? Okay. Zombies over in the storage area. There's got to be zombies in the storage area somewhere. Yes! Success! Quiet! So, start off with Circumscythe. Slice away those shields. And now let's go for furry friends, because they they're not in a row, unfortunately. There we are. Get them, Wave of Rats! One down. The other one's stunned, and about to die. I seem to have a strategy. A Nazi ring? I hope there's some around here. Of course there aren't. I'm running out of places to look. I mean, there's no Jimbo's in the Tower of Peace. I think that's pretty much it. I think there's anywhere else left to look after that. Because I'm assuming none of them are hiding indoors. I'm assuming they're all out in the open. Which may be a dangerous assumption to make, but... If I searched every nook and cranny, would be here all day. They're all good. Nice to you, you're not a zombie. No zombies there. Oh, hello. You enjoying your meal there? Hey, that cat's not a zombie. Oh, this seems to be awfully easy. Let's see if I can, if I can inflict grossed out. Because I'm going to kill him next time with me anyway. No, he's immune to grossed out. Not to the bleeding and burning damage, though. Search. Ah. That's all five Nazi rings. Hey, Big Nose. You should consider having some work done. Oh. Success. That's a nice collection of Nazi rings you got there. Well Thank done, you. Junior Detective. There we go, that's all we did this for. That stupid friend request. So now what we're actually going to do is go to this fast travel flag, fast travel to the school, and head back to the community centre. Seems we should now be able to uh, complete the quest of in for Randy investigating Taco Bell. Whoa! Hey, I remember that episode. What's this? It's a recording. There's data on here. Did they say anything? What kind of Taco Bell is it going to be? When are they going to be finished building it? Shh, shh. All right. We're going to have to completely obliterate everything in a three-block radius. What? Set charges underground to blow up the area and bury it all. Then make a fake story about an earthquake. Oh dear. They're gonna just blow up three blocks? Sons of bitches. You sons of bitches! What gives them the right? I knew there was more to this. It's not a simple Taco Bell we're dealing with. Yes. It's the most massive Taco Bell ever built. Idiots. You see, Ever since the whole Doritos Locos Tacos thing, Taco Bell thinks they can do whatever they want. Well, not here. Not in our town. You've done well, new kid. We're not going to let Taco Bell win. 
I'll take that picture you wanted now of you with the PTA. What? I'll just take the money, to be fair. Nice. I'll send it to you. Well, that was all done. The PTA will call on you should we need you again. You did very well today, yes. young man. Kyle is so lucky to have so many nice neighbors his age. That's the last time Taco Bell fucks with the PTA. Just because I'm your friend now doesn't mean you get to screw around. There we are. I'm also, while I'm here, going to do this. Now, there are four people for one specific achievement you need to do this to. That's something I'd expect from the kindergartner's young man. And she's one of them. The other three are the mayor, who I've already done it to, I think, off camera. Uh, the vicar. Biggest damn Taco Bell I've ever seen. <laughs> Makes the Applebee's look like a pile of dog shit. <laughs> Uh, yes, the vicar, and there's one more. So I'm gonna go quick. Oh, yeah, I can't go. Yeah. I'm gonna go and quickly shoot the. whatever his name is, Reverend something or other, in the face. Just so I don't forget. And there's one more guy who is missable who I'll have to get later. If the Lord didn't wish us to fart, he wouldn't have given us anuses. I'm into that. So, guys, uh, I think we're actually gonna end the episode there. We've done the whole Taco Bell investigation and got murdered by zombies four or five times. And we'll be probably be continuing with the main quest next time. Though just before I end the episode, I've just forgotten we got a perk up a few seconds ago. So what are we going to use this perk on? Maximum health, attack up, magic attack, magic attack, counter attack. Hmm. I'm not going to go bloodlust to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to go with Bloodlust, because I do tend to inflict bleeding quite often. But anyway, guys, yeah, that's where we're going to end the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Spark249. Have fun!